New at six, a Native Hawaiian activist bulldozed vacant land that he says he's reclaimed from the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. He wants to increase the pressure on DHHL to address the neglected needs of Hawaiians. Rick Desog reports. The Mon Ole used a weed whacker this morning to make a path at a four acre property in Waianae which he cleared over the weekend with this excavator. This land was just wasting away. It's just growing, overgrown with um, invasive species alongside with endemic plants that's native to Hawaii. And it's sad that they're not taking care of it. Even though he doesn't have a lease to the property, Manaole says he plans to build a home on the long vacant parcel, which is owned by the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. He also wants to conduct agroforestry farming. On the bottom, over the bluff there, we're going to grow ulu, banana, noni, just for starters. This is one of several vacant DHHL properties that activists are reclaiming. They say this drastic action is necessary due to years of neglect by the DHHL. Other protesters have put up signs like this reclaiming DHHL lands on vacant properties in Kailailoa and on the Big Island. We're just tired of waiting to die on the list. If we don't take action now, we're going to end up dying. We cannot wait. I understand the waitlisters' frustrations. The fact that the waitlist is at 28,000, uh, unconscionable. Interim DHHL Chair Ikaika Anderson says he's also frustrated that properties like this have been allowed to go vacant for years by the DHHL's previous administration. I'm concerned that there wasn't enough of an interest by my immediate predecessor to put out for lease parcels to our beneficiaries, to our beneficiaries for their business use. Anderson says he's confident that his successor, Kali Watson, will work with beneficiaries to reduce the DHHL's wait list. Rick Desog, Hawaii News Now.